Okay, sorry for the long delay. I haven't tied in a while. I've been out fishing, uh, enjoying the sun. Yeah, you don't see that. Yeah, no. So I got the, a new color on my face. It's pink. But hey, that's a color as well. So to, today we're gonna tie the colonel. We're gonna tie it on a proper uh, salmon hook. So no blind eye. Uh, this one is uh, going to the lovely country of United States. So, oh, sorry for that. Adding the tinsel. It's gonna be fun. I haven't tied a salmon fly in a, in a long time, yeah? There we go. Let's get them ready and do a few wraps of the oval silver tinsel, small, uh, ex extra small. So I have a few weeks tying flies, then I'm off south of Sweden doing some nice trout and maybe shore fishing i think mostly mainly trout then back home work for a few weeks off to thailand that's gonna be an adventure guys just imagine you uh, hook something crazy on that end and when i get back i have a few weeks as well, if I'm lucky, then up to Norway, um, fishing for, I think the, the, the English name is Char, it's like a salmon but uh, red with white fins, um, doing that for two weeks, then I'm up further north in Norway, above the polar circle, and going all in for Salmon or sea trout. And that's the plan so far. And then uh, in Sweden we have winter. It's a period completely dark, cold. You lock the door from the inside and uh, stay in bed until the spring arrives. <coughs> so turn off the music I forgot about that one so my finger is a, is a bit fatty so I'm gonna use the, the gloves of course I have to of course you can roll the silk with the the tube it comes with but yeah nah I haven't practiced that one, so and I prefer to hold it in hand anyhow. So.
Let's get the tent. Removing this monster glass. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to make a quick video. I'm not famous for that. Oh, I'm not famous at all, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Normally my videos are, I need to divide them in two, uh, 30 minutes each or sometimes longer. So yeah, I don't know. Might be boring to look at. If so, gives me head up, heads up. And uh, of course I'm gonna change that. But I think, you know, tying a classic Selma fly, you don't want to have fast forward the whole move and boom, it's over. Then it becomes boring and you don't really see how people do their thing. You know, I have my style, somebody else have their techniques, you know, we're all different, so. Topping, interesting. I didn't prepare one, so I need to, need to have a look see what I can do with the materials we got. Medium, yeah right, and half is on the floor. Let me have a look at those before I put my foot over it. <coughs> there they are. Okay, so now we have toppings. I spotted one, promising. Yeah, could be promising. The first one I look at. Hey, why not? Let's do that one. I build a new pile of things here. Or maybe I just put them back. That would be the smartest decision. Yeah, let's do that. So let's see, let's try from there. That looks good. So cutting the sides. I never rip off the material because I want, you know, when you cut it, you get these small barbs and they actually help you to tie in the material. So interesting. Uh, some light wax. I don't want to change the color of the, the floss in the back. Yeah, it might work. A bit longer though. I 
And I think on this one, let me see, I need to look at the pattern. I haven't done this in a while. Um, yeah, correct. It's nothing. That's really cool. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's weekend, so. Um, let me see then. I think I will start with the tin cells. So we need to have this one, that one, and black silk. I need to throw this away. Where is the good one? Come on. Good one, hello. And I mowed it out of range. Uh, since the metallic is gone, I use that one. I'm just removing a bit of uh, the tinsel to make sure it's easier to tie in and uh, doesn't build that much. Still metallic, so where did I put that one? There. And my dog is here in case he gets the idea to protect the place. You never know. He's loved it that way. Okay. So I'm still gonna use the clear wax. Or clear and clear, it's more pink. tinsel on the other side a few wraps I think I just gonna do one just in case and then add the second one I don't want to build too much in the back there we are now we're talking And then I think it's black floss. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. As always. So taking out some nice Japanese black floss. Oh, silk. It's not the crappy synthetic stuff. So the proper one and I'm thinking about maybe I'm gonna use two actually in, in one thread it's 16 threads so now I do two times that just to get some volume I might even twist it to make it a little bit more robust and I uh, need to have a look at my own picture here there we are, looking good. Okay. I 
could add something red in the back, but I think it's cleaner this way, so I'm gonna leave that out. I got these lovely necks many 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 years back now you think it's all oh, like the stone age uh, it's not that long ago like 12 years 13 years when uh, whitening was good for a salmon tire So I'm just going to reverse the opposite side of the hackle downward. So this fly is going to be a set of four that going to the States. Uh, lovely place, very nice guy. This take a little bit of time. I'm just gonna do it quick, not perfect, because I'm gonna pull it while I'm uh, wrapping around the hook anyhow. So there we are. I think I'm still gonna use the clear wax. So let's take these two black ones before I forget them again and tie them in. There we are. I think we're going forward. Going back again, now it's time for silk. Adding the silk, tying it in forward a little bit. There we are, going back, gloves. Because the, the, the reason I use the gloves, um, I have fat on my hands and if I touch it, if I touch the silk, I ruin the shine of the silk and the yellow is really nice. So I don't want to do that because then it's just going to be pale and boring. The classic salmon fly is all about the, the finish, the art, in my opinion. So I try to do the best I can. There is a lot of guys even twice as good or three times as good, but hey, this is, this is me doing the work. I'm trying to stretch my own um, 
my own skill. No point in pretending being somebody else or copy in the style or you know if you, you should have your own. There you are. Just flatten out the silk a little bit, cutting it off. Garbage pile there. I love a clean desk. I can't tie otherwise, so that's why I hate to tie, you know, sea trout flies, spike flies when when you have synthetics all over the place. Of course, I do it, but. After a few flies, I need to call the, the cleaning service and uh, clean the table. So there we are, adding the hackle for the second time. <laughs> Going back, let's start with the seal fur again. There we are. So let's just mix this one up a bit. I'm using a more dirty yellow because the hackle is clean yellow. So I want to have different colors or yeah, the different shades of yellow. forward Adding some more silver. My dog is snoring, that's a good sign. So if you have any questions, comments, you know, just uh, fill the uh, fill the comments below. I'm gonna I, I always take time to answer every every question. But that's the gain I get, you know, uh, to be able to communicate with the fellows that enjoy tying or they want to have advice or they, they want to give me advice, whatever, you know. I'm, I'm open-minded for for anything. So there we are. So let's start with the flat tinsel because that one is going to guide everything else.
See if that landed correctly. Yeah, it did. Not bad. Same. And same. And try it. Okay, cool. Now we're going to cut off the silver tinsel uh, oval and flat. This was the bad scissor. Yeah. yeah, still did work. And it's time for the black silk. So what I'm always do is to then go in and pull out this fantastic uh, silver. That's why I don't uh, use a dubbing loop. Now it looks much nicer with a lot of uh, fluff. Ow, sharp hooks.
There I go. So I think I'm gonna have my normal front tackle. My style. So I just gonna get that one. It's much more fun that way. Blow. Can go with the black wax, adding that one, then I will take a break, calling this one part 102, and then I will do the wing in part 2 of 2, just to make sure I don't bore you guys to death. That would be very, very sad. But classic fly tying is not about the speed. Even if you do a fishing fly, like this one. I think, you know, you should be well cared of and respected and tied properly. Even if you do it your own style, so to say. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed the, the first part of it. So now I, I made the body until the front tackle. So in the second part of this video, I'm going to continue. And uh, yeah, and, do, and build the wing, uh, attach the mid wing, then the top wing, and uh, the topping, and uh, yeah, the hull head. There we go. So just finishing it up. Not that bad, not too dark. I like it. So, if you like what I'm do, uh, doing, sorry, <laughs> please make sure to subscribe to my channel. You just uh, uh, subscribe to it. You you press the bell to make sure you you get a message when my new videos uh, coming up. And uh, uh, up here I'm going to add uh, other playlists that might be of interest. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you in the next video where we add the, the wing. Okay, see you.